Manchester City are trying to move into first place in the Premier League table, but they need to beat Fulham to do it. They're currently tied 1-1 in the second half of their battle at the Etihad and the citizens are down to 10 men. With Erling Haaland starting on the bench, City ran command from the start and took the lead through Julian Alvarez. But the match changed on a 26th minute play that resulted in a red card to City's Joao Cancelo and a penalty for Fulham. After the long ball into the City half squirted into the path of Fulham winger Harry Wilson, Cancelo shouldered him in the box and referee Darren England had no doubt. Fulham attacking mid Andreas Pereira buried it. Man City still look like the most likely to find a winner with Holland potentially coming on in the second half. Fulham are playing without star forward Alexander Mitrovic, who sat out with an ankle knock. Central striker Carlos Vinicius replaced him at the top of the Cottagers attack as the visitors seek to improve on their 7th place standing. Sporting news is following the Man City Fulham match live and providing live score updates, commentary. More, latest on Erling Holland's injury Man City vs Fulham live score 1H2 final Man City 10, Fulham 10, goals, MCI, Julian Alvarez, Il Kegmundon, 16th minute. Full, Andreas Pereira, penalty. 28th minute Man City lineup, 4-3-3, right to left, 31 Ederson, GK, 5 Stones, 25 Akanji, 6 Sake, 7 Concello, Red Card 26, 17 De Brinha, 16 Rodri, 8 Gundogan, Captain. 20 Silva, 19 Alvarez, 10 Grealish Fulham lineup, 4-2-3-1, right to left, 17 Leno, GK, 2 Tate. 31 Diop, 13 Reem, Captain. 33 Robinson, 6 Reed, 26 Paulinho, 8 Wilson, 18 Pereira, 20 William, 30 Vinicius Man City vs Fulham live updates, highlights from Premier League 48 th men. Cole and Erling Holland is up off the bench and begins warm-ups. Hess likely coming into this match if Man City can't find another goal soon. 46th minute. Cole in the second half is underway with no changes from either side. Half time, Man City won. Full in one half time, Man City looked in total control of the match until the 26th minute red card to Joao Cancelo for denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity. It was the right call from the official, and you wonder if Cancelo needed to commit the foul with Ederson coming off his line. Man City still look like the team most likely to score and they nearly did through Jack Grealish and then Manuel Okanji.